So, we have some kind of a problem with the sensor. Now, all the sensors are new. So I put all new sensors on uh, about two years ago. So it may be a bad connection, but why is it that the timing comes back in as the RPM increases, but the moment it goes to idle, the timing jumps around all over the place only on that bank? Okay guys, just to sum up then the test I've done, um, obviously I've used my little strobe light which on the video um, doesn't come out properly um, because of the frame rate of the camera so it looks as though it's flashing intermittently but you have to trust me that when I connected it to this, this cable here which I showed you in the video it was flashing like that constantly very 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 quickly and when I connected it to that one it was flashing 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 very fast this coil was originally getting warmer than that one and the reason why is because that plug wasn't fully home so it was obviously building up a resistance there's no arc no damage in there or anything but obviously it was just getting a high resistance and therefore that was running warmer than that they're both cold now that you know they're both just quite warm evenly now because they're both connected so that's fine um then obviously the next thing is continuity on these so we went through and i tested these and looked at the timing so the next thing was um to uh look at the timing and obviously i did that down there on the flywheel looked at the timing marks and as you could see when i connected to that bank there it was jumping around all over the place on idle it was doing that just all over the place and then as i brought the revs up then it seemed to stabilize and settle down and it was fine and the engine smoothed out which concurs when I connected it to this side, it was absolutely fine on idle, as you could see, it was steady. And then as I revved it up, it stayed steady and just advanced slightly, which is what you'd expect. The other thing that was interesting, when I started the car up from stone cold, I ran it for about five seconds and then shut it down straight away, put my hands on the exhaust manifolds here. I don't recommend you do it after 10 seconds, but five seconds, and these sides were hot, just almost too hot to touch, and the other side were not hot, they were cooler. And that would concur with the timing jumping around all over the place, because if you think about it, you're not getting an even combustion. And running the car like that for about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, this side still stayed quite cool, this side was red hot, which is what you'd expect on idle. Now, when I ran it, with the RPM up, 
having let it cool down a bit, and started it up and brought the RPM straight up to 2,000 revs for five seconds and shut it off. They were both at exactly the same temperature, which concurs with our reading of it jumping all over the place on idle, on the timing, but not as the RPM increases. Now, why that is, I don't know. It's not coils. I, mean, I, it, I don't think it's the sensors, because the sensors would work, the crank sensors, which, as you know, there's one just there, and there's another two around there. Um, they would be misbehaving all the time. It wouldn't just happen at idle. I've got a nasty feeling it could be either a plug in the digi box there. Maybe the plug needs pulling out and putting back in again. There's two digi boxes. Or one of the boxes is going south. But I don't know how they fail or what pattern they fail. And I expect there's some people on here that know all about them that will be able to tell me. So that would be useful. Okay, guys, there you go. That's the latest. And it took me, um, how long have I been at it? Oh, yeah, I've been at it about 15, 20, you know, about 25 minutes. And as you can see, it's raining. <laughs>